Welcome to Dream Kayaks. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Werewolf 10X, brand new kayak, 10 foot, 310 centimeters long, and some really great features. So just going to take you through this awesome kayak, available from Dream Kayaks. Have a look online, dreamkayaks.com.au for the latest packages and prices. Uh, you're going to get a good value deal. So up the front you've got the drain plug, which is standard on any sit on kayak once you drain any water that might get in hull out. Uh, that little bit there is for a safety line which you haven't got in. Nice big triangle hatch up the front. So that hatch is good size and it's dry. No scupper plugs in there or anything so nice to have a dry hatch. Looks good, nice cover. Then there's another hatch right there in front of you and again a good size and completely dry. No water will get in there unless you put it in there. So really good to have as much storage as you can. That little scupper hole there is the transducer scupper hole on the back of that. Down the bottom of the kite there's a recess for your transducer. Foot pedals. Easily adjustable. Really good ones these. They've got the spring which is nice and strong, better than the little metal clip and Gives you that good action to control the steering uh, and, and the rudder. Easily adjustable when they're fully installed, slide forward and back and lock it in. Nice bit of open space there in the deck. Here you've got the tracks. They come with two lugs, so it saves you 10 bucks on each side. In track mount kits, you can put more in or you can attach normal track mount kits. Awesome to have those tracks there for attaching gear like extra rod holders or GoPros or anything. Here we've got the paddle keeper. Nice wide one. Um, holds the paddle much better than the thinner ones because you've just got a bit more strength in that wide position. The seat, we've got an adjustable height seat which is really good. If you're paddling fast home, you just want to get home, it's going to be more comfortable paddling it from a low position. Uh, you'll also feel a little bit more stable there, but this is a very stable kayak and that's the high position. Uh, gives you more comfort, more vantage points in terms of vantage position, in terms of um, sight casting, heaps of room under the seat. And right there is a nice little cutout in the mold for a tackle box or anything really. It's just good to have some space there. Behind the seat, a, I know we're going on to the rudder cord. So the rudder cord is really good in this. It is a spring loaded rudder, rudder. one cord, uh, you pull that cord to, Get the rudder into the water, the rudder blade into the water, and then you just lock it off with one hand. No need to you know, use two hands. I haven't set that rudder up, so it's um, a little bit wonky there. But once you've got the cords to the pedals tight, that just comes in and out of the water nice and clean, and it's very easy. It's a fantastic system for a rudder, the best system that I've seen. Okay, now we come to that little, uh, or quite a big box behind the seat. Again, dry. It is so good to have dry positions. Here we've got three dry spots, a lockable lid cover, cover <coughs> sorry, a lockable hatch cover on the side of it, this, this flush mount rod holders. And here we're looking at the groove for the motor with uh, brass inserts to bolt in a motor bracket and a couple of plugs in the rear well. And now a bit of a closer look at the rudder and how there's a handle there. Uh, that handle's a bit hidden by the rudder blade, unfortunately, but uh, still usable. And you can lock that blade in, or not lock it, but you can strap it in with that rear strap. And again, the, because the rudder's not installed properly here, bending around, but if that, those cords to the pedals were tight, uh, it's nice and easy, clean. So yeah, great uh, kayak. There's just a view of the paddle keeper with a real paddle in it. And here I've got the GoPro in one hand, so one-handed, uh, it's pretty easy to lock that in and because it's wide it holds it more securely than the most hard plastic handles on each side which some prefer to the uh, carry straps. A really good adjustable height seat um, just yeah overall a fantastic kayak it only weighs 27 kilograms for a 310 centimeter kayak that is fast and tracks really well that's a great weight. It means you can take it wherever you want without stress. Chuck it on the car. Two D-rings there. You can secure the seat to the hull. Now turning it over, have a bit of a look. That's a really nice full hull. The two grooves give the shell, the hull extra structure and also improve tracking. Here we've got the transducer recess with the four inserts for, to bolt on the cover. 
Now the cover comes with the kayak. Um, normally you might pay 20, 30 bucks for that. Um, so it's a good way to keep your transducer. The front, nice V, a really sharp V there, which is why this kayak tracks so well. Again, at the back, the, the, the manufacturer has really given this an aggressive V shape, front and back. Acts like a rudder, even when the rudder blade's out of the water, it means that you're gonna uh, track more, uh, in a more, more of a straight line. There is the sacrificial drag strip. Awesome idea. It means you can just grab this kayak and drag it along. If that wears out on the gravel or the bitumen, you can get new ones. So really good ideas integrated into this kayak. It's a fantastic unit. And more info at dreamkayaks.com.au. Thanks for watching.